Hi guys, welcome to the new video. If you are new, of course, subscribe uh, below the video, video. I just finished watching Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power, Season 1, Episode 3, and I want to share my thoughts of what I think about the episode. So, without spoilers, I think it was pretty good, but it was a little bit boring at the same time, okay? The visuals, of course, beautiful. The dialogue is pretty nice, but I think the star tenant is a little bit like boring and it's very tropey in my opinion in this one this is the weakest episode so far i think the episode one and two was better than this one okay so of course the music the visuals great but the storytelling i got some issues okay with this guy <laughs> i'm gonna jump into the spoiler section basically the episode pick up yes i'm gonna do quick recap like uh, this elf guy yes who get kidnapped basically he just you know in the previous episode this i'm gonna search for his fucking right here this is this dude right here this elf with the short hair let's go basically he is just dragging on with by the orcs yes and basically there are many prisoners and the orcs just comment to him like just dig a hole or whatever yes that kind of situation and i'm gonna say the visuals looks great but like i said it's a little bit boring i just watching this episode and i just you know like come on just get to the action it's pick up at the end of course we got the action scene yet with this elf too but with this guy but at the same time it's whatever so basically cool lighting shots of course yes with the orcs just hiding on those fucking clothes kind of colors different kind of colors because uh, the sun just burning them or whatever it's interesting idea and cool visuals okay so basically he is just in chains and he's digging whatever they got a couple of elves and maybe i'm gonna say maybe his story first yes of the episode so basically we got a couple of characters yes we got another elf and another guy and basically they planning to escape yes and the orcs just you know beating them up and whatever just dig more whatever and uh, they just command to cut a tree yes you watch the episode and it was beautiful tree you know the cj looks great but <coughs> basically they just saying like oh you are this tree is older than you blah 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 this another character just say yes and i was thinking they're gonna kill them yes but the orc basically just bring the water and i was thinking where is the fucking catch so they just drink in the water and the orc just cut basically the throat of another dude and it was like oh holy big kind of <laughs> scene but to be honest we don't know those characters so it's like it's pointless to me it, it was a little bit like yeah i got some issue with that scene because i don't feel any connection with those characters die like they basically killed yes because this or just you know cut the throat of this dude and we don't know this we just saw him basically a couple of times and it's like oh it's a big deal and he just say i'm gonna cut the tree and he just cut cutting the tree whatever and basically they just plan on how to escape yes and uh, they are figure out like the orcs are uh, scared of the sun or whatever so at the end of course they just plan to escape and it was cool action scene you know we got another character of this elf guy and it was cool actions and they just fighting you know with the chains and he basically just destroyed this fucking uh cloth kind of roof if that makes sense you watch the episode yes it was cool and they just released this kind of dog orc yes and the cgi of this dog looks great I, i'm not gonna lie it looks fake as fuck but it it looks good okay so basically this dog orc just uh, killing yes kills two people and this kind of elf just get free yes they just try to destroy the chain chains and this one elf guy just you know get from this fucking uh, hole yes you watch the episode and basically he got shot yes and this elf chat character of course they just capture him and they were like oh 
don't kill him we're gonna bring another character and he gonna basically face this dude or whatever and episode ends so i like this storytelling like okay the orcs just using them to dig a hole or to dig some stuff but at the same time we don't feel any connection to those characters like they kill off in this episode they don't establish some connection okay it was like oh this dude just you know get his throat <laughs> basically cut and this dude just get shot by the arrows yes and it was like okay i feel nothing so in my opinion they should be a little bit better you know to establish some characters like they're gonna kill off but whatever it is what it is so i don't mind and basically we got another storytelling with this gabrielle or whatever her name is gabrielle i'm gonna call her and this gabrielle basically they just she just wake up and cool lighting stuff if you watch this episode you get it the lighting from this fucking ship yes and she is under basically yes on this ship and uh, this chat character and to be honest i have issues with this chat character i know what they try to do with this guy okay this guy who gets arrested yes with gabriel basically in the city because they do an aragon part two and i am not big fan come on we saw this we saw this of course he's not gonna succeed but we saw this like oh i'm gonna united the whole kingdom i'm gonna find this guy right here not this is isildur and we got you know uh, we just saw him in the first episode and i'm assuming he's gonna cut off the finger of the fucking sovereign but we just saw i'm gonna show you in this fucking ship basically gabriel just wake up with this dude that i'm searching and they were like where are you wherever she just eating some stuff yes and she just get and i'm gonna say it the shots like the ships just arrived the city looks beautiful the city looks amazing holy fuck you must appreciate good cgi come on come on guys this is blender tutorial channel we must appreciate some good cgi and this looks great look at the cinematography i like the design of those ships looks amazing look at those fucking looks fucking cool like some kind of creature so basically you know the gabriel just came to the fucking on the ship and who are you whatever and he is like i'm gonna bring you to the town blah 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 and she was like okay so they just came to the city the city amazing cgi you must appreciate this come on looks beautiful this city looks beautiful don't tell me this city doesn't look beautiful if you if you're gonna argue about this show like you don't like someone of the something in the show we can argue but the cgi of the city looks great and i am not big fan of this episode too to be honest because i think the previous episode was better so basically they just arrived to the city and this gabriel you know the people just watching like oh this is elf elf whatever so in the city you know <coughs> basically they don't like elves or whatever yes <coughs> And we got this character, yes, he is basically just that of Isildur. And this is interesting. I'm gonna say it. It's also interesting to, you know, give more characters, yes, in this show. Like, okay, this is the dad of Isildur. It's interesting. Because we know Isildur gonna basically cut off the finger of Sauron. So, interesting stuff. And basically, oh, this character, Aragon Part 2. I hate this storytelling. I hate, even if they gonna do the twist, like, yeah, he not gonna united the whole kingdom. I hate this. I hate this. Like, come on, give me something original. I was like, this is Aragon part two. Don't give me this line. Because basically later on the episode, I'm gonna jump in later a little bit. Like, he is in prison and Gabriel, like, you are the king of the land, whatever. You must unite the whole kingdom. Come on, we saw this in Aragon. I am... Uh, so this is my issues I, I i hate this storytelling like i hope they're gonna put some twists in this because we saw this don't repeat the story of aragorn come on and he even look like a little bit like aragorn it annoys me don't fucking do the same storytelling that it was in the lord of rings because it annoys me so basically the gabriel just arrived to the city and we got this cleopatra character <laughs> or whatever her name is and basically uh the gabriel just came yes and it's came out like the city basically the elves just give people yes this city and people just 
uh, don't contact elves or whatever. You watch the episode. I don't know the story of the city. Basically, people don't like elves right now. They are not big fan of the elves because elves just give them a city and it was like a little bit confused. So Gabriel just say like, I am commander of this land. I am Gabriel, badass, whatever. And she, give me a ship and I am done with this fucking city. And this is Cleopatra just say, I don't know her name. I'm going to call her Cleopatra because she looks like Cleopatra. Basically, she just like, oh, we don't like elves. Uh, elves don't give us nothing. I like a little bit complicated stuff. It's good. It's good. But I think it's not hidden enough. Like, yeah, this land correctly. I don't think so. Like, it's good to have some conflict. Okay. Like, oh, not every city is peaceful and one or two basically help. Yes. I like this, but I don't know. Something feels a little bit off. So basically this. Gabriel just say give me the ship or whatever blah 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 and she was like guards you know just in prison Gabriel and this Aragorn part 2 I'm gonna call him Aragorn part fucking 2 because it annoys me and he's not Aragorn basically just say give us three days we're gonna be in the city we're not gonna cause trouble and she was like okay just go whatever so this is that kind of situation and Gabriel basically just have the dialogue, just escape. Yes, we got some stupid scene like she was jumping around on the windows and she just escaped basically. And she was like, I, I want to get out of this stupid city right here. Yes. <coughs> and this dad of Isildur just saw her and basically, yes, we got some dialogue too, like this Cleopatra and that of Isildur just give him a sword or whatever. I think he's going to be a spy of this uh, Cleopatra or whatever. I don't know. It's a little bit complicated stuff. Yes, on this fucking. So basically, this Gabriel just have dialogue with this dad of Isildur. Yes, <laughs> this Papa of Isildur. And basically, they just travel. And I'm gonna say it. The the, the worst shot in this sh in this show so far. It was like Gabriel just riding a fucking horse. If you watch the episode, you saw her face. It was so fucking cringe, like, what the fuck her face is? It was so fucking strange to zoom in on her face. I get it, she is happy, but it was the worst shot of this fucking show, <laughs> in my opinion. It's good to be, uh, to create some memes, okay, with her face riding a horse. Because I'm gonna say the costume looks beautiful, the horse looks beautiful, but her face was like, we just... It was very slow motion and she was like laughing. It was like image, still image, but it was cringe. <laughs> I'm gonna say it. So basically she is just riding and she just travel on some library or whatever. She just looking on some scrolls, blah, blah, blah. And this dad of Isildur just uh, give her some sign of Sauron, whatever. And she just came out with this idea like, oh, this is the map of the Sauron and that kind of situation, whatever some stupid stuff and it came out like the owner of the city basically he loves elves or whatever he's just a normal guy now because people don't like basically elves in the city some stupid shit yes and basically this guy aragorn part two i hate this come on give me some twist i hate don't repeat lord of the rings because it annoys me it annoys me. This story is annoys me with this fucking Westlife guy. Come on, Aragorn part two. Shut the fuck up. Even if they gonna twist the story like he not gonna unite the kingdom. I get it. Give me something else. So basically he just get in the fight. Yes, he just looking for a job basically to do a sort or whatever. Yes. And he basically needs some kind of like, oh, without this stupid... Uh, MacGuffin, you don't gonna work in the city. He was like, okay, he just drinking bar and we got some bullies in the bar. I wasn't a big fan of this scene too. It was a little bit tropey, we get it, the bullies. So basically, he just give everyone drink, yes, in this bar and he just stole this MacGuffin, yes, this fucking, I don't know, some kind of metal, like, yeah, you belong to the city and you now can do some weapons or whatever, you can work in the city. 
So he just stole from the guy. Basically, he just beat up the, those bullies because bully just beat up him a little bit and he just break the fucking arms, whatever. And he just get arrested. And I'm gonna say it right away. Basically, he is right here on the fucking prison. Aragorn part two. Westlife guy, come on. And basically, Gabriel just came to him and they just have dialogue like, Hey, you, we know who you are, you are the fucking owner of the lands, you are, you must unite the fucking kingdom. We saw this! This is the worst part in the episode, in my opinion. Come on, give me something original. I don't wanna see Aragorn part two. And he even looks like Aragorn, look at his fucking face. Ah, come on, I was expecting a little bit more original stuff. Come on, we saw this. Maybe they gonna throw some twists of his story, like he not gonna unite the kingdom, he gonna die, whatever, blah blah. Okay, it's interesting, but at the same time, we saw this. So basically, Gabriel just say, travel with me to the land, you gonna unite the whole kingdom, and I'm gonna redeem myself too. You watch the episode, it was like, come on. It was a little bit strange. And basically, we got seen with Isildur too. Like Isildur just came with his just sailing on the ships and he basically just saved another dude, yes, because the robes just, you watch the episode, I'm not gonna, basically he just came to the beach and it was stupid, like the sea is the way or whatever, they just threw some stupid line, like the sea is always right, <laughs> that kind of situation, yes, and basically he had some dialogue in the bar with his dad, like, Hey, I don't want to work in the sea. And the dad was like, hey, you must go and work on the sea, okay, motherfucker. And we just saw, and I'm going to say his sister is kind of hot a little bit. <laughs> Obviously, do. if you watch the episode, you get it. Basically, his sister just came and just give him a fucking horse, whatever. This is this will do right here, yes. He's just selling on the ships. So he's a good seller, yes. I'm assuming they're gonna show like, okay, you defeat the, and you just take the fucking ring or to power. Okay, I get it. So basically, I like like they threw in his whole family. I like this. Seriously, it's a good idea to throw more kind of family member of his and flesh out a little bit his story. I like this stuff, but I feel it doesn't land as strong in the like in the previous episode, in my opinion. So basically, he's like, you know, talking to the dad, I don't want to work on ships, whatever, just eight days. And the dad was a little bit pissed off. He's like, no, you must work on the ships, whatever. And eight days, you must go on the ship and basically do this fucking test to be Jack Sparrow. <laughs> and basically, the daughter just gave, have a letter like, oh, you just, you know, get to this fucking guild. And because of Isildur, and Isildur just went away uh, from this bar. It was a little bit stupid. So, uh, we got this kind of story, and it was 7 out of 10 in my opinion. It wasn't a bad episode, but I think it doesn't land as strong as the previous episodes. I was expecting a little bit more. And we got the Nori story, of course. Where is this fucking Frodo female? Right here, this is the dad, and I'm assuming the dad is gonna die. You are so dead. So, of the Nori. Nori character, we got, and I'm gonna say, the costume of the fucking, of those Hobbits, I know they are not calling Hobbits, but I'm gonna call them Hobbits. It, it was stupid in this episode. They just have some stupid, I don't know, trees in their fucking hair. It was, come on. It's a little bit too much. I get it, this is her, their fucking, you know, like, okay, they live in this area, and they just, uh, you know, take their homes. And they just celebrate in one day before they live in this area. I get it, but at the same time, it was a little bit too much. So basically, they just celebrate. And, and I'm gonna say, this scene where this uh, guy, yes, this chief, this black kind of halfling, yes, this black uh, hobbit, just uh, say the names of the fucking dead hobbits. It was stupid. It was a little bit stupid. Come on. <laughs> It was, come on, I feel no connection. Oh, and they just start crying like this uh, Frodo friend, yes? This female Frodo friend, like she was crying a little bit like, oh, this uh, hobby just died from the snow or whatever. And it was sad. I, I feel nothing. We don't see those characters. I feel nothing. I, I don't have any emotional connections to those characters. You get it? So I, I get it. This is their kind of like memorial stuff. Like, okay, we live in this area and... 
we just leave behind those fucking hobbits so we just gonna mention them it, it, it's so stupid it, it was a little bit stupid so basically Gandalf and I don't know if this is Gandalf I'm gonna call him Gandalf okay Gandalf just sneak out and I'm gonna say you Nori just sneak out yes the previous scene and she just she just take the map of the stars basically <coughs> And she was sitting and hearing those stupid like, oh, this hobby died from this. Oh, we miss them so much. Yeah, I feel nothing. So basically, Gandalf just sneak out and see the map. And basically, it was stupid too. Gandalf just, you know, take this fucking map of the stars and just put in the fire and just starts. The, uh, the map just burn out. You watch the episode. It was so stupid. Come on. Come on. Gandalf, what are you doing? And I don't think he's Gandalf. So basically, you know, the Hobbit just saw, like, it was funny scene, a little bit, like, the Gandalf just came to this fucking uh, houses, and he just came out like some kind of monster, a forest monster. It was a little bit funny, the scene, but at the same time, it was stupid, too. So basically, the Gandalf just, uh, just saw Hobbits, and he just called Nori, and everyone of Hobbit just came, Nori, you lie, you stole, whatever. And they just, you are banished, yes? And this, I like this chief of these halflings, like, yeah, maybe she not gonna be banished, but uh, she gonna travel and at the basically end of the caravan or whatever. It, it's okay, whatever. And basically he's injured, he got injured uh, leg. So it's, it's good like the consequences of the actions are. Basically, okay, he got injured, uh, he, fuck. He got injured leg. And basically, he they just travel at the back of the caravan. It's nice. It's nice like this came full circle. Like, okay, we we got some consequences of those actions. I like this. So basically, uh, Gandalf, you know, was like, oh, you are friend, Nori, you are friend, blah, blah, blah. And basically, they just travel at the back of this fucking caravan. And uh, they just struggle. And who just came? Gandalf. Gandalf just came on the back of this stuff and he basically, okay, Nori just, he gonna help us and we gonna help him. And they were like, okay. And I'm assuming he just, you know, help them basically with those caravans, yes? Just to travel and not stay behind. So I like this idea. I like these connections with Nori and this fucking wizard guy or whatever he is. I like this, but... I don't know, this episode was a little bit boring. I like the action scene at the end with this elf, yes, and with those chants, but at the same time, they killing those characters, yes, those elves, but I feel no connection with, to those, okay? It will be nicer to kill some good characters, if that makes sense, to basically hit you in the heart. It, it doesn't hit me with the heart, basically. They just kill them characters, and I was like, okay, they are forgettable. And I like the city and I like a little bit of the politics like, okay, the city don't like elves. I hate this stuff with the Aragon part too. I hate this. He, he, he must unite his own kingdom. He is the king. He is the owner of the land. Shut the fuck up. We saw this in Aragorn. Ugh. Come on, come on, come on. Give me something original. I hope they're gonna put a twist on his story. I hope they're gonna put a fucking twist. Because I don't want to see our Gorn part 2 because this is boring. This is fucking boring storytelling, in my opinion. Because we saw this. I Of course, they must put some twist. Like, he gonna maybe not succeed. He gonna die. Or whatever, because I don't want to see Aragorn part 2, he's going to unite his own kingdom or whatever, blah, blah, blah. I like this guy. We get, He got some drama with his Isildur. I like this. We're going to deep dive a little bit more to Isildur character, who's going to basically destroy the Sauron, yes? And he going to took the pow uh, the ring of power. I like this. Flesh, flesh out more of this storytelling. Give me some issues on the family, why Isildur is it's gonna become this motherfucker who basically gonna keep the ring to himself. I like this. Flesh out the family more. I like the city and politics a little bit, but explain a little bit more. Okay, and this Cleopatra character, I feel nothing for her. 
but I like like okay she is a little bit shady lady so it wasn't bad but it was a little bit boring 7 out of 10 it was the worst episode so far but it wasn't bad it was like 2 out of 10 D don't tell me this crap okay because <coughs> this is not the level of she -Hulk. I think the writing of the episode was a little bit weak the story tenant, it was a little bit choppy with the bullies, yes, and Aragorn on the bar. And basically with the halflings too, like, oh, we're gonna mention those halflings who not survive. I get it, this is their tradition, but it was a little bit boring. I feel nothing for those. And they, this Nori friend just crying and I feel nothing. And with this elf, like, they, this fighting scene, <coughs> I like the dog. The orc dog, uh, this is great CGI, but at the same time it was it was a little bit like boring too. Like they killing those elves, yes, those prisoners, and it was like, okay, I feel nothing for those guys. So yeah, 7 out of 10. It was the worst so far, but it wasn't bad, in my opinion. So yeah, thank you for watching, guys, and see you on the next video. If I forgot something for the episode, I, I'm gonna say the episode looks beautiful, of course. The music, great too, but it was boring a little bit. Thank you, see you on the next video.